Harry Williams for Severe MMA here at Cage Warriors 146 in Manchester alongside Judo Jimmy Wallhead. Jimmy, I first interviewed you at Cage Warriors 73 right. in on the 1st November 2014. You sported the big curly beard. Yeah, yeah. I was was a, it after Suarez? Yes, yeah, Juan right. Manuel Suarez yeah, yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. All the way back then. Yeah. And now you think of the journey you've been on. Yeah, yeah. All those years, different that, promotions yeah, all around yeah. the world. That See, was the second stint in Cage Warriors, weren't it? Yeah. That was the second, this is the third stint. Yeah. yeah. All that way to yeah. now get to here. Yeah, yeah. Emotions. Yeah, yeah, crazy, mate. I mean, I, I, I think... Uh, I think if you see Mains with Edith, you'll probably think, wow, he's pathetic. I cried my eyes out. <laughs> I lost my shit. I got a bit overwhelmed. I've been a bit scatty. I've had a rough camp. Um, I've wanted this for 18 years. You know what I mean? I've wanted this for 18 years. So it's over my shoulder. It just don't feel real now. But it does look good. You know? It sure does. I see on the cape for my, uh, my, my long career, you know? I miss opportunities and, um, you know, chokes at important times and perform bad and a bit of bad luck and messed up myself and you know a lot of a lot of a lot of things in it this is it this to get to get this means a lot to me in it you know it's uh something i can always you know if I get beat up in my next fight i still won this in it you know what i mean it's something i can always say i was you know yeah interim whatever cage boys world champion i'm a cage boys world champion i mean i've said it to a couple of times but if there's anyone who is kind of defying time like anybody in the, uh, the MMA world, it's yourself. Like you're coming in, you're taking out these young prospects yeah, yeah. in fights that people would probably count you out on. I, think I was an under underdog in both of these fights. Yeah. Skibinski and um, and Mate Mate The lads were betting odds. I was like underdog again. Yeah, it's all good. I don't mind. It's and fine. then when you finished Skibinski, I think that was your first finish in seven years as well. Yeah, been a while. Uh, would it have been three years out of Bellator? Yeah. Yeah, it might have been, yeah. I think your last one before that was KSW. Yeah, yeah, is that long it been? Bloody hell. And now you've done it two in a row. Yeah, yeah. Found my groove again, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Just getting your groove again going, man. And it's showing, it's showing you've played the long game. Oh, but it's man, that old people's home, wasn't I? Hey, no one's going to fuck with me at dinner time, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I mean, now you're showing it, you've got a big smile on your face. I mean, that yeah. moment out there was... Even just like standing there with Sweet Caroline on and yeah. everyone singing and seeing you hugging your, your team as you saw your emotional yeah, moment yeah. there. Yeah. Just how, like, it was hard not to feel the emotion stood there. I was like yeah, nearly yeah. tearing up myself. Yeah, yeah. So for you, I can only imagine just like this moment. I mean, I'm sure you're going to like put your head in your pillow tonight and think, what the hell is going on? Yeah, yeah, for but sure, yeah. This, but, but this moment for you, like, how can you try to to wrap it up in like define it in words I, I, again I don't, I, can't, I don't think it's sunk in it don't feel real it don't feel real I was a fucking mess all day weren't I I've been a fucking mess all day man I've been a mess I've had a rough camp man I've fucking doubted myself this, this many fights in still the nerves and the doubt just creeps in and just had a rough camp man and uh until about half an hour ago, I fucking I wasn't in a good place and then half hour before the fight I just found my groove pull Felix got me warm, Joey got me there, and yeah, I don't know, I enjoyed myself, I walked out and I was ready to fight, it was fucking mad, left it a bit late, but half hour before I was up for it, so there you go. Would you have said this has been the biggest and most important fight of your career? Yeah, 100%, 100%, for a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons, um, and also, just, yeah, we're just winning this, you know what I mean, like, I've won a few titles over the years. You know, but nothing, this is, you know, this is a, a worldwide established belt, you know, this is respected worldwide, this is a legitimate world title, this is, you know, yeah, it's the interim. I'm going to do the same if I fight Reese. so I'm a world champion, you know, I'm a world champion, finally a world champion after 18 years, a legitimate world champion, so it means a lot. Well, it's Reese McKee next for you, and we can't wait to see what, like, what, how that fight plays out with, with yourself and Jimmy, as always, honoured to cover your career. A true privilege to speak to you and cannot wait for the next fight. Thank you All the best. Much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. All